I am working on a Maytag refrigerator that's not cooling properly. So we're gonna check the temperature in the refrigerator. And you can see that is 59. Now let's check the temperature inside the freezer and see what we get. So the temperature inside the freezer looks like about 55, somewhere there. All right, so it's not cooling. I should so let's go around the back and see what we can find out in terms of what's wrong so there's a lot of water in the drain and i'm looking for oil you know to see if there is any form of leak all right doesn't look like there's any oil inside of it so i'm going to check the compressor area the compressor is running and i'm going to feel the discharge line to see if it's warm to the touch yes it's definitely warm to the touch and look around to see okay as we can see this filter dryer is sweating so right off the bat we can say that we have a restricted filter dryer a filter dryer should never ever be sweating now let's put our gauge on the um, stub of the compressor to see what our pressure is looking like so let's see exactly what's going to read more than likely it should be reading in a vacuum because um, no freon or liquid um, is flowing through that filter dryer because the filter dryer only has liquid going through it. So if it's clogged and it's sweating, it means that it's backing up. So we, it's in a vacuum. So we see that the pressure is in the negative minus 21. Our next step is to remove this filter dryer. And also to make sure that we clear the line of any debris using nitrogen to flush the line, especially for the capillary tube. So we're going to make sure that we flush the line. Then we're going to replace this filter dryer, do a vacuum, and then we'll be on our way. cut open the filter dryer to examine it to see exactly how inside the filter dryer is as you can see all the beads are coming out but take a look carefully on the other side you see some of the beads they are black and then just look on the inside you'll see black stuff forming on the inside and it's caked up inside there so that's why the liquid was not going through the filter dryer because it was totally clogged i just installed a process stub so i can apply nitrogen um, to clear the system out it's very important that we blow the system out with nitrogen to remove any form of debris make sure to check your nameplate on your refrigerator for the maximum design pressure the system is allowed um, to use because if you over pressurize the system you will blow the lines up it's now time to replace the filter dryer so i'm going to sweat the filter dryer in after that i'm going to do a pressure test to make sure that i don't have any leaks and then from there i pull a, a deep vacuum just taking a look at the filter dryer, we see that it is totally clogged. It's very important that we always replace the filter dryer anytime we open a seal system. So the next step is to pressure the system with nitrogen um, based on the rating plate. Um, I put 120, 24 you know, PSI in there and let it stay for about 10, 15 minutes. And then if you don't have any leaks, then we move on to do a deep vacuum. Didn't find any leaks. So I'm moving on to do a vacuum and we can do this vacuum for 25 to 30 minutes a deep deep vacuum and then we can leave it for about 10-15 minutes to see if we have 
if there's gonna be any changes on the gauge all right we will now check the name plate for the amount of freon that's five ounces of freon or 134 that should be used in the system i like to use the weighing method to weigh in the amount of freon instead of using pressure so i'm going to be weighing five ounces and a little bit um, in the system and to make sure that the system has um, good pressure now we have the freon inside let's check the pressure and we're looking at the low side we need to have up between 5 to 12 psi and the high side you know going up to 150 somewhere there so the pressure is looking good